So many people is about to be exposed over the continued detention of Namde Kano. So many people who contributed in his adoption in Kenya back to Nigeria. In no time, they are going to be exposed. An investigation are being carried out. And somehow, so many of them will be exposed in no time. You can see what is going on in Southeast. The suffering of our people. Upon that, the governors continue to do what they know how to do best. Selling our land to terrorists. Before we were talking about an APC criminal called Demma, who was imposed on Imo people. In the first time and second time was ringed into office by Tinibu and his criminal friends like Shetima who happens to be his vice president. Today, we are here again talking about Omba. But it's not surprising at all. Because we will continue to tell you the truth. You like it, take it. You like it, leave it. When I told you that there is so many hands that does not want Nam the Khan to be out from dungeon, because they know that the day he comes out from there, Biafra restoration will follow. Some of you believe that I am just talking out of point. But time shall tell. Mba has the audacity. A man with no certificate. A man with false certificate has the audacity. To plan. To sell the land of Enugu people. To fly terrorists. There is so many houses. If any businessmen who are living in the east, they will rent house and do their businesses. And besides, if all those ones that buy strength to send our land to are genuine, how come they're not staying in the mosque? Because that is where they have always been. Because at least we will understand that those ones are clean. Even though sometimes some of them who claim to be Muslim to be strong in their faith are also evil like Stone of Sokoto. We are saying this because Mba is doing so much atrocities in Igbo land. His predecessor was a little bit bad because of the way he behaved with Flanese terrorists. This was why so many people were killed in the Nugu state. The question is why is our governors always afraid of these people? What crime did our governors commit? You see what is happening in Lagos today. How the houses of Igbo people are being bulldozed without any compensation. The governor, he talks, and those who sold the land actually the ones got seen this atrocity. But upon that, nothing has happened. The governor does not panic. If 
even though he knows those he's destroying the properties are genuine people who made their money genuinely struggle hard for it in a state where their own people can't even be able to work hard to make money I'm sorry but I have to say that it is the way it is this is me this is who I am But when it comes to our land, the governors are easily panic. They want to sell land, give our land to Flani terrorists. Not even Flani businessmen, Flani terrorists. In the name of Nama. Is it not obvious that the kind of leaders who continue to produce in our land are the problem of our land? Several people were killed in Alabanta, in Abia State, and their head found. What happened? As they were told to leave the market, what happened? They gave you quick notice in the north. They know how to deal with you, but they don't know how to deal with them. This is because we have men who call themselves governors as a camp. If the presidency says they don't want to give a location, then stop every tax that you are paying to them. The resources they are taken from you, stay at you too. That the consequences, let them go and blow it up. It's your land. The youth who owns the land voted for you to be there to protect them, not to sell their land to terrorists. Because some of the governors are afraid to do the needful. Some of them are afraid. They want the government to give them allocation. Infrastructure, all the rest. No doubt. But if you know what you are doing as a governor, you protect your land. The same time, you have that allocation that you need to make your land a better place. It's a lot. The resources coming out from there is what they are using to maintain the Abuja, maintain the useless Lagos that people today boast of. Tell me what those have, Lagos have. It was first the capital of Nigeria. The white man maintained it. Later on, he was moving. Started being a fine artifact. But from the oil coming from Biafra land, they used to maintain these so places upon that those bring out the oil, their land, lose disgust like state one or another. And then buy is busy. Selling our land to fly the terrorists. The same thing that those of them did all of a sudden. Our people are now changing, some of them changing to Muslim. The same thing that Taj Zokalu did. So the lot that to fill any terrorist. The more business people, car business people today, they have destroyed all our land. I expected the Enugu youth to protest over the atrocities being committed by this criminal governor, God Ba, who has no certificate who fought both his NYC and everything. Like his brother or his man, Tinibu. I'm still watching OT. I'm watching him. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Biafra. <laughs>